Well, hello, stampers. It's the Pampered Stamper. Happy Wednesday to you. Wednesday means it's stamping through my stash. And today I have a fantastic bundle to share with you. It's called Heartfelt Hexagon. And it's a stamp set with a lot of images and sayings. And it goes with a punch. Now, this set has been back ordered for a little while. Um, it's available the third week in April. And I'm suggesting that you get it as soon as you can because when at the end of April it will no longer be bundled so you will be paying 10% more okay and what's the purpose of stamping through my stash well let's take a look the purpose of stamping through my stash is that you ink up your stamps as soon as you get them and the reason is twofold number one and the punch you want to use your punch you want to use your dies whatever you get your ink pads your markers your blends anything make sure as soon as you get them that you ink them up punch them, die cut them, because there's a three month guarantee on your products. So you wanna make sure they're in good working order so that you can get them replaced if there's anything at all wrong. That is why you pay a premium dollar for stamping up products. We stand behind our products, but you can't just put them in, in the closet or in the cupboard, in a drawer, and then wait a year or two and then discover that there's something wrong. Then there's no more help for you. The other reason is that when you um, ink up your stamps, you will be more likely to use them. You're going to fall in love with them. You're going to be reminded why you love them. And you're probably going to discover a few things that you didn't realize about your purchase. And that's so much fun. Tuck your little odds and ends into your um, case and your stamp case, and then you will have a nice surprise the next time you want to use it. So I've already put some of these on my stamp apparatus. And we're going to make a great card with this set at the end. I'm just going to tuck this stamp set underneath. So here, photopolymer stamps when they are first out of the box are super sticky. Um, when they lose their stick, you can wash them. Just make sure you put the plug in the sink so you don't accidentally wash any stamps down the drain. And then just wash them with a bit of soapy water, give them a rinse, and they'll be as good as new. So I'm just going to ink these up with Pe Pebble Path. And let's see what happens. So there are two hexagons here and see you could stamp the words inside with the design as well and then they punch out. I'll show you that in a minute. Now we're just going to turn this around. I hope I left enough room. I put the other stamps on another plate. Let's see. Oh, I just have to move this. Oops. See it just comes right off. And then I have another one all ready to go. Your Stamparatus comes with two plates. I have a few extras if you want one, let me know. Well, you know what, it's touching that one a little bit, but that's okay. This is just a sample to show you what all the stamps look like when they're inked up. And I figure you don't want to see me put every single stamp on a block. So, but let's see what they say. Sending lots of love and hugs with sincere sympathy. Oh, it's got to take a minute to focus. Oh, the internet here is so bad. Well, it's taking its sweet old time. I'm just going to lift it up, see if that helps. It's just a jiggling away. I'm going to pause it. Let's see. Okay, that's a little bit better. So you can see, with sincere sympathy, sending you lots of love and hugs. Let's eat cake, Mr. and Mrs. I hope your day is filled with joy and for you. So now look, you can, and this looks beautiful embossed as well. I'm just going to put this out of the way, but look, you just open up your punch and then you slide it in. And as it becomes where, where you want it to go, there. Now the one thing to remember, I'm just going to wipe these clean for a minute, is that that frame, I didn't actually show it to you. It is a jiggly loose thing because it's got a big hole in the middle, right? It's an opening. So the way to do this, this is a super important trick. Lay it on your table. Don't, here, I'm going to show you the right way and the wrong way. So this is the right way. This is how you pick up your stamp. This is the wrong way. Here, you take this one and you lay it on your, oops, here, and you lay it on your block. You might do it well but you might accidentally manipulate it one way or the other and then it won't fit well into your punch. So you need to lay it down and then pick it up. 
and then the shape will be the same as the shape of the punch. Okay, super important. Okay, and I'm just going to show you an extra card that I made. Take a look how nice that is. Those are just all shapes cut out of paper, hexagon punch, and then this is embossed in gold. Okay, now here is the card we're going to make. I had some extra pieces from a technique card that I made for a design team that I'm on and I cut them apart. So these pieces are, this piece is three inches by four inches. This is a one and a quarter by four and that as well. So this is has been done. Do I have it laying here? I don't. Our copper enamel effects. And it's just, yeah. If you wanna see this, you're just gonna have to look at another video. I have a short that shows you how to do it. Um, this is about showing off the stamp set. I need my glue. Anyway, it's called faux patina, the, the, the thing, and I used pretty peacock and, oops, what was the brown, pecan pie, and then I finished it off with um, Coastal Cabana, and then I rubbed on the, um, doo -doo 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 -doo, the copper effects, and I used a piece of crumpled up saran wrap, so clear cellophane oops and it just gives a really nice look and then this is just a fun fold card with a middle flap you just cut to the fold at the one and a quarter inch mark or probably one and three eighths now i'm using european size cardstock so you have different measurements but i find that if you just cut one inch off off the side or one and a quarter and then just decorate your middle flap it's just a different way to have a card and that's always fun. And this embossing folder is called Distress Tiles. It's a, it's a favorite of mine. And then the card base is also pretty peacock. And then look, I took the saying and I embossed it in copper on pretty peacock with sincere sympathy. I'm going to pop that up and then we're going to finish off the inside of the card in a very beautiful way as well. Now, I was thinking to add some cording, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to leave it plain and simple. And because it's on an embossed background, I think I'm going to add a few more dimensionals to make sure it sticks. Now, a tip that I heard from a downline, Barb Gourley, now I've done this in the past just as a, you know, a hack. But you add a little bit of liquid adhesive and then you get a bonus adhesive here. Especially because this is, there's all kinds of stuff on this distressed paper. So this will help it stick. And sometimes sympathy cards get left out for a long time to provide comfort. So you don't want your card falling apart. So here... Now we're gonna lift those up and watch. This is what I'm gonna do just to keep it centered. I embossed two in vanilla, and that's gonna go on this side. So one on each side. This is such a beautiful card. I'm so happy to share it with you. And it was just one of these things that I had this piece, uh, this card base just sitting in my file folder with all my other pretty peacock card stock. And then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make a card with this. So that's fun. It's one of those things that kind of like stamping through your stash that you save extra bits and bobs. And then when you find them, it's like a bonus present for yourself. Fairy Vanilla is so beautiful. I do not use it often enough, I have to say. When I reach for it, I'm like, oh, this is so beautiful. There, and now up we go. And then I have, oops this here. Now I was going to stamp something on there with sincere sympathy and then I thought I would do um, sending you lots of love and hugs but I'm not sure. I might have gone too close to the edge. Let's see if I can punch this one out. That would be great. That would be such a bonus. Well not quite. See? Although what you can do is I'm going to try this. 
much. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to use a sticky note. And my sticky note has lost a bit of its stick, so I'm going to grab another one. Oh, yeah, that's better. It's called the sticky note handle. So, look, I'm going to hold on to that, and I'm going to put it in again. And look, I'm going to make it a skinnier. Look at that. And now it could have been, it's not perfect, but it's going to have to do. Let's have a look. Look at that. Isn't that great? So you can change the shape of your hexagon by doing what I just did. The it, that, that handle of a sticky note is always a great tip because it helps you to punch things out when you've punched on a piece of paper that is too small. There. Look at that. Oh, 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 I forgot to put it down. <laughs> All right. I was too eager. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this session of stamping through my stash. Please give me a thumbs up on YouTube if that's where you're seeing it, or share on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. Your word of mouth advertising is really valuable to me. There. Look at that. So here we go. And then we open it. And then I think we could probably finish it off with some really nice embellishments. Let's take a look if I have anything in my stash. Okay, I found just the thing. These are called rustic metallic adhesive back dots. So I feel those will add just the right subtle touch. And a little one. Yeah, that's just three, maybe another little one on the side. You want to keep your, your um, embellishments in numbers, odd numbers, okay? I think that looks, looks quite nice. It's a very rich looking card. I always think it looks, this one looks better in real life than, than in the video. In the video, you see kind of the light focuses and it looks a little blotchy, but in real life, it doesn't look blotchy at all. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Have a super day. Bye.